Okay, let's look at problem number two. So we have 1.5 moles of hydrogen gas and 1.2 moles of iodine mixed together in a container of volume B decimeter cube. At equilibrium, you form 2.06 moles of hydrogen iodide. So the question is asking to actually calculate the Kc or the equilibrium constant. Let's again set out a table as we did before. Let's put our initial moles here. So we've got initial and the moles from that equilibrium. So initially you had 1.5 moles of hydrogen gas and 1.2 moles of iodine gas and there was no HI in the mixture. So at equilibrium we formed 2.06 moles of HR. Now we know that one mole of iodine gives you two moles of HI. So half of this number of moles must have been used up from the iodine in the mixture. So we divide this sorry we actually divide this number by two which gives us one point zero three and then I take that away so I just convert this to a minus sign so minus one point zero three which leaves me at equilibrium with zero point one seven moles of iodine Similarly, two moles of HI use up one mole of hydrogen gas. So again, I need to take away 1.03 from this number over here, which gives me 0.47 moles. Now, we need to uh, work out the new concentration. In this case, we are not given a new volume, but we just told that the volume is V, so let's just put that in. So let's say the new concentration is 0 0.47 divided by V and 0 0.17 divided by V, and over here we have 2.06 divided by V. Okay, so let's slot these numbers into the KC equation. So KC equation is going to look like KC is equal to gas it is squared over H2 and I2. So you square the HI because you've actually got two moles of HI in the equilibrium equation. So now putting the numbers in, we get 2.06 divided by V squared divided by 0 0.47 divided by V times 0 0.17 divided by V. Now you notice that we have two of the volume units over here, so we have volume square over here, and here you have volume times volume. So we have one volume here and one volume here. So essentially these cancel out. So all of these actually cancel out. Hence it doesn't matter that we're actually not given the value of V because they actually cancel out in the final equation. Okay, this answer comes out to be 53.1. Now let's look at the calculations with units. So we have mole dm minus 3 and we square it because we've got 2 over there. And then over here we have mole dm minus 3 and we've got 1 mole here and 1 mole here. So we can add them up and this also becomes 2. So this and this cancels out effectively. We have no units for this case. So I hope that explanation was clear enough and you were able to follow how to solve KC problems.